Hey, welcome back to the channel or very welcome if you're new here. I'm Heather, I'm an animal communicator and energy intuitive and this is Toby the Oracle Dog. Um, he is a dog in spirit and he is incredibly wise. Um, he represents our animal kingdom who've been living with us for many, many, like hundreds, millions of years, um, really since humans started to domesticate animals and pets. And they have huge wisdom that they share with, they have available to share with us about how we can have a better life experience. Um, now, I let Toba draw to each theme. And today he has, I've pulled out cards, which he will have directed me to pull um, about rules and hierarchy. So today's pick a card message is around the theme of how rules, and I don't mean laws, I mean, you know, sort of the rules that we put on each other or on ourselves and how hierarchy within our communities, our family, or our work situations can impact us and um, what that might be uh, doing for you, messages that may help you in certain situations. So we have three piles to pick from. And we're using the universal star seed cast today. So this is a real universal overview message coming through. Um, so pile number one is inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Pile number two is a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. See that? And pile number three is double mission. Light, worker, starseed, serve the world by being you. Now, you may find that you're drawn to more than one pile or perhaps even three of them, um, and that's great. There, there may be messages in here for you um, across everything, or, or maybe just one is drawn to you. And if you're not drawn to them, obviously, maybe today isn't the day for you for this particular um, subject. Anyway, uh, look forward to seeing you in the readings, and um, we'll just give you a moment or two to select, and then we'll get going. Well, hi, welcome, pile number one. Okay, so today's uh, subject is what rules and hierarchies around you might be um, impacting you and what messages the universe want to give you to help you. And you have chosen the pile of inner earth, pile number one, the, the card of inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Okay, so I'm going to start with your tarot cards and then we will go to the oracle cards. Oh, wow. Okay, that's an amazing place to start with justice. Um, uh, so there is a situation going on around you. You're saying here you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Um, it feels like there is a legal situation. It could be something to do with a work contract. It could be something to do with a, a relationship contract um uh, or any scenario really where you are needing the rules to, <laughs> to sort something out for you so very very topical to start with um okay wow okay queen of fire which is the queen of wands in this deck um okay so this is really saying believe in yourself um you know you will make your dreams come true you're probably feeling very stuck at the moment um and what the energy of the queen of fire and this card here look at look at these two people sitting on their throne of integrity um that whatever is going on you you always hold the high ground um and that's such a valuable place to be and it's as good a place as you ever possibly can be particularly when you're trying to deal with something and um sometimes it feels it feels like the it feels like the, the 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 cards are against you. The deck is against you. That the, the the energy is against you um, at times, but the energy of your integrity will always hold true through your body for whatever situation comes out the other end. And and there's a real um, there's a real importance for your inner self to look after both your material outward expression which is where justice and rules kind of really come in, into play and your inner health and well-being which is where integrity comes into play um, and feeling that if you're fairly treated or unfairly treated you at least have held yourself with grace throughout whatever's going on um okay and the next card is the world wow okay so this is a real affirmation that um i mean this is like the last card in the tarot which is saying 
everything good is on the other side of this. You know, it, it, you are coming into completion and it's saying here, new solutions and beginnings um, that whatever you're going through, because you're holding your integrity um, because you're so strong, um, at times I th suspect you're feeling very dented um, and wondering whether you should be fighting harder, I guess. Um, but because you're balancing yourself, because you're working through this with grace, um, you're going to feel that way. You're going to feel like a whole level, new level of awareness um, on the other side. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Pile number one. Wow. You really are holding yourself true and you know you're a guiding light you're a shining light to people in how to deal with really tough difficult situations and in, in, with integrity with grace with vibrance with um with clarity and and I, and I, and this is saying that i mean this for me is a progression as well for you to say it's a tough situation you know it, it is go it is going on it, whatever is happening is is happening um it feels like it's working its way through it, but it feels like it's still in pro process. Um, and, you know, this is really so relevant to the theme of rules, which is, you know, for example, you know, the, ru the rules around marriage, the rules, the rules around work contracts, the rules around um, joining clubs and committees and, and then, you know, trying to do something different and, and getting rejected from that. Um, the rules around family structures, you know, how we're, how we're supposed to behave, how, how we're supposed to, um, you know, turn up and show up because that's the way the family's always done it. But it, it, then when you want to do something different, you, you kind of face the criticism of people. I feel this is probably something actually specifically legal. Um, divorce keeps on coming to mind. Um but I mean that may be relevant. There's there's lots of situations where this will apply. But look at the journey from this. It's you will survive this. New solutions and beginnings will come. Um, it's sometimes difficult to know that there's life on the other side of really critical situations when we're in survival mode. But you, you know this. I think in your inner well-being, you know this. Um, you perhaps even sparked making this happen because you knew that it wasn't right for you. But it is a difficult process to go through. Um, whatever you sparked is a difficult process to go through. I feel that you've done it yourself. I feel that you have made this. I feel that you've done this because you needed to escape something that wasn't working for you, um, knowing it would be a tough journey, um, but holding the holding your integrity, holding the, the, the high ground in terms of your own grace. And you can see this. You are, you know, you're coming through the other side after this, um, uh, feeling stronger, uh, although you're dented, although you're weary, you know that it's the right thing. And then look at this, you, you, you're going to step into your own world, into your own authenticity, and then you're really going to shine. Your vibrancy is going to come back. You're going to feel like you're the um, life and soul of your own party, of your own journey. Amazing hats off to you, pal number one. I, I, I feel for you because I feel you're still in the thick of it. And, and this is to give you an affirmation that... Um, rules that don't work for you do need to be changed so that you can your life can work for you okay some oracle cards now and then we'll tune into toba with some um give some advice okay raven shaman you are the creator and magician use your gifts for good there is a power in your wisdom and words connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the world claim your place as keeper of the mysteries okay I think whatever situation you were in that was holding you back from being true to yourself and true for yourself is probably, um, well, we'll see what the other cards say, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that there's some kind of spiritual development, a, a growth, a real step change in your vibration that you wanted to make, um, a real connection to the universe. Um, you know, we started with the universal cards, so these are starseed cards, um, and I suspect the situation that you were in, that you were tied into legally in some way, um, was uh, holding you back from being true to yourself so much so that you needed to break free from it. You need to step out of the cave of um, conditioning. Yes, the cave. There we go. Look, <laughs> solitude. You've been in the cave and you're probably still in there at the moment. Um, uh, hiding from hiding from the world while this situation goes on. Um, because that's one safe, two, it's the best place to recover, and three, you probably don't have the energy to give to anybody. Um, but this is real affirmation that when you do come through it and you're doing the right thing for yourself, um, 
you know you're wise you know it you get it you're 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 moving things in the right direction for you and for the people around you who love and care for you in the way that they should um and who get you um, and you're probably even having to shed some people who don't get you um, and, and find a new set of friends and that is coming look at this you are such a guiding light for other people um think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times okay morning crow i'm just going to get another card for that um, I'm feeling that this is a warning of don't hide yourself too, away too much. Um, funny enough. Scavenge. We've got Raven here, shame and scavenge warning. I feel that you're in danger of maybe just selling your short, self short a little bit. Um, or, or because you're in solitude, because you shut yourself away to survive this situation. Um, you're feeding off the scraps of your energy. You're kind of at threadbare. Um, let me see what this card says. Oh, there's a little bit of nudity sometimes on these cards. So excuse me while I just put a little crystal on top to protect this lady's... Um, card okay harmony power self-confidence productivity i'm just going to read the um the the depth of the energy in these uh guy these are gaia cards mother earth cards is incredible so i actually really want to read this card just to um because this is the last card that's kind of overseeing the energy here um these two i th really think that you're i feel these are saying this is a warning that you're you're kind of on threadbare energy, but people will come and try and feed off you because you're such a star. Um, and maintaining your own your own harmony through this situation. You know, be in solitude if you want to. Be be rigorous about being in solitude if you want to, um, because you know you get it. But because you get it, people are really attracted to you. And I think at this point in time, you probably don't have anything to give to anybody. Um, but people will still try and come and feed off the scraps, but you're literally scavenging for your own energy at the moment. Um, okay, let me just uh, read this Harmony card. So it's card number three, which may be relevant to you if you're interested in numbers. Okay, number three, Harmony. Power, self-confidence, productivity. This card heralds a period of inner and outer harmony. Lovely. This is really, you're moving into your queen of fire energy. You're, you're, you're in this process. It's, it's happening and your solitude is paying off. Um, in the coming months, you will feel an increased sense of self-confidence, which will result in greater productivity. It is as if you have learned to harness the primal forces of nature and are able to channel this energy in a powerful and meaningful way to achieve your goals. Yeah, look at this. Look how that actually uh, feeds into the shaman. Your guiding stars are in harmonious alignment at present. There is a, this is a fortunate time for you, and this period will continue for several months. Be mindful of the power you have at present. Honour it, respect it, and use it wisely. What you learn in this time will help you greatly in the future. Observe your state of mind during this time, as well as your actions and how others react to you. Notice how many doors open and how previously inaccessible paths now become clear of obstacles. All you desire comes to you with little effort all because there is harmony in your inner and outer worlds. Remember, this is the future, for it will serve you well. This is in the future, for it will serve you well. Okay, and the affirmation is, I am one with the forces of nature. I am one with the earth and all creation. I use my power wisely and to great effect. I create harmony in my life through love and acceptance. I achieve my goals with ease. Okay, this is really beautiful, and this is a real affirmation, I think, of what's going on. But I think at the moment, you're in this process of... Um, justice is nearly served it's nearly finished you had to move yourself um, you're moving into this queen of um, queen of wands any energy um, where you are um, you're, you're an intense light I mean the queen of wands is, is really you know filling up with an in, intense light connecting inciting passion in other people um, feeling that you're in charge of your world you know really lighting up the way for others um, and finding your power but at the moment while you're still in this transition um, you're feeling your way into your power so I think there's a warning just about how powerful you'll become but also um, 
and the, and, and the message in here was months okay and I think when we come out the other side of something we underestimate how long it takes to recover from the process and recover from what was happening before you know that when you're so bent out of shape that you have to move the dial um your your energy field has become completely disrupted by somebody else's energy the rules and hierarchies that you were sitting in made you not feel like you at all and actually vibrationally energetically you weren't being able to be yourself um, and just in, on an energy basis just on a physical basis you know if, if we if we if we have a physical illness or a physical damage to our structure like a, a leg break for example I mean no sorry heaven forbid that happens touch wood that doesn't happen to anybody um, okay, so that. um then um if uh that takes weeks to recover from specifically and then months to recover from um you know in terms of fitness and so going through a huge justice rules change process for yourself requires a recovery process it requires you to be careful with who you give your energy to be careful with who you invite back into your world be careful of scavengers because you're such a bright light and as you become more powerful more people will want to carry on feeding off you um so this this i think is a real affirmation of the process that you're going through don't be afraid to continue to be in solitude as you understand this change in power that you have because you are you are a, in, in, in inherently and innately in your energy vibration. You are an incredibly powerful light um, and you weren't able to shine in whatever situation you are in. Um, and you're going to become more powerful on the back of that because you'll feel it and you'll understand it. Um, but be gentle with yourself because this is a this is a process. If it takes the rest of this year, I mean, this is the start of 2023 when I'm recording this. Um, but this is a timeless reading. So, you know, give yourself months, literally give yourself 12 months if, if necessary to, to, to get to um, who you were supposed to be before all of this happened to you, where you're supposed to be. But actually what happened to you has made you an even brighter star. It's just that you have to start to glow gently and then more brightly until you can really, really shine. And some of that requires being in solitude and some of that requires being keeping yourself away from people. Um, because you don't have enough energy to give and, and it's understanding how to be in harmony and balance with yourself and trusting that power that you have um, and a little bit of warning just about how powerful you will be so feel your way with new relationships um, and uh, and observe and watch how other people interact with you because you are you've got you've got real big destined things to happen okay that was amazing now I um, have been channeling um, the energy and the universe and Tobra at the same time but what I do like to do is just tune into Tobra and ask him if he's got actually anything real specific that he wants to say um, and then I'm going to draw some um, uh, advice cards from spirit okay Tobra what would you like to say okay Tobra's saying that um, part of the part of the evolution process of humans most human journeys is um, that we we uh, almost have to not almost he said we go through a process of um, amalgamating ourselves with other people like we we, we um, he's using the word homogenize it's, it's a big word sorry if that's um, I hope that under, basically what we try to do is harmonize ourselves with other people's energy um, in order to fit into the rules and hierarchies that we create as humans and he said that that is um, in order for us to live in big groups. Um, he said it's not our it's not our inherent um, underlying animal structure as an as an as a human being animal. Um, we used to live in small groups, um, which did have hierarchies and did have rules. But as an individual, we were able to function um, much more within our own vibration within that structure. Um, and he's saying now because because we live in very large um, multicultural, multi-dimensional um, societies, um, that we our energy frequencies are bombarded and, and rules are there to protect us, but they're also um, put in place to control us. And we are. Um, we become bent out of shape, but in, in the bending out of shape, if we're brave enough and strong enough to move beyond 
being contained by a structure like a rule or a hierarchy, particularly one, you know, maybe where there's a legal situation. He said, we do end up being stronger in our own vibration. He said, we, we, we can end up being more powerful because we've understood what it's like to not be like that. And he said that the trick is to, as you're going through this process here, is also to process the emotions. He's saying his warning in this here is to, is to not bottle up the feelings. He said the quicker you can process the feelings, release feelings of guilt, release feelings of anger, feel them, acknowledge them, understand them, release them. And he said, understand your part in your part in any situation. He said, you have the integrity to understand this. He said, every, every single situation involves you as much as it involves someone else. He said, it might not be your fault, but your energy pattern um, contribute to it and is impacted by it. And he said, the important thing is to understand the underlying emotions that will help free you so that you really feel like you have let go of everything that isn't you. Um, and he said, if you continue to hold on um, he said what what animals see in humans is because animals live more in the moment and he said what that actually means is that we don't hold on to um, thoughts that are emotional thoughts he said we, we we have thoughts about the past and we use them to predict the future he said but we don't use them to fear the future he said that's the difference he said we we use them with knowledge and not with fear <laughs> so he's saying as part of the recovery process that this these cards are indicating you're about to transition you're kind of part way through because you're holding your own in this justice situation he said but to really feel like the sun has opened up and is really shining on your world he said you'll get there the quickest if you process the emotions um, and let them go and hold on to, rather than holding on to them and storing them in your body he said which is um, first of all self-harming and also can help your physical structure Okay, Pan number one, I hope that makes sense. You're doing an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. You're doing an amazing job. I feel. I just feel that you've got beautiful energy. Um, you know, you're holding your own. I suspect that people around you aren't, aren't as integral, and maybe not as integral as you are, um, or maybe the immediate people you're dealing with are, but there's lots of people around us that tend to want to have a say in how we should behave because um, when you act with integrity, it show, shines a light on the fact that they don't. So they hit out at us rather than going in and sorting themselves out. Oh, wow. Look, there we go. <laughs> Some advice from spirit has released the past. <laughs> Bang on Toba's message. <laughs> um, wow. OK, so releasing the past does not mean that we forget, nor does it mean something bad. That if something bad happens, it was OK. It means that we make a personal choice to no longer allow our history to dictate and shape our life both now and in our present time and in our future wow, i think he read the card before i pulled it out um amazing and i'm going to get some soul energy uh sea soul energy so some uh so we've got mother earth we've got universal energy in here i'm just going to get some water energy because it's so fundamental to our life ease may it be effortless beautiful okay that's a really wonderful way to finish i think that's just um it's saying i think in here and the message from Tober is, um, and the affirmations from the universe is that we we hope it's an easy process for you, um, and to ease yourself forward over the next few months at the pace that feels right to you. Um, always trying to work with harmony, and you'll find harmony as you're releasing as you're releasing emotions. Okay, pal number one, that was um, that was beautiful. I um, I hope everything works out for you quickly, um, and uh, I. You know, I really feel the depth of your integrity that you are approaching everything that you're doing. And that's a very, very wonderful thing and a very wonderful place to be. Um, if you love this reading or you like this reading, do please consider giving Tobra a thumbs up. Um, I'm so privileged and honoured to be able to do this work with him and with all of the other energy and the animal spirits and the universal spirits. It's um, we're, we're pre a pretty new channel and um, the amazing intelligence that these animals have to share it's just it, it it leaves me in awe every time i do this um, and i really appreciate you being here okay thank you very much bye hey pile number two you chose the car the universal energy starseed car his card here of um a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision 
Okay, so we're working on the theme of rules and hierarchy and what advice has spirit got to give you. Um, so we're going to start with our tarot cards and then we'll move on to our oracle cards. Okay, so we have the two of fire, which is the two of wands. Okay, so this is really, um, this is great. This is uh, adventurous. It's about taking the next steps, which is, it's happening. I mean, that that's, this is they're basically saying the same thing. A new earth is happening for you. Um, take the next steps, bold, ambitious choices, um, and, you know, the chance to partner with others as well. So, um lots of opportunities coming to you um, and planned action, you know, expanding your plans. So this is great. Okay. And then we have the eight of water and the need to move on. Um, so this is the eight of cups. Uh, yeah, the fantastic. I mean, look at this. So this, this eight of cups energy is really about walking away from negative um, rules, hierarchies that didn't suit you. Um, this is saying holding the vision of, of moving forward. It's happening, and we've got the energy here of the two of, of ones, which is um, you know it is it's exciting. New new happenings are really are really happening. Your plans can come to fruition, and walking away from negative energy. And and the same is in this. These two figures are basically doing the same thing. Um, and I love this. I, I love this card. Um, it reminds me of my dog Toby here looking back going saying, see ya, that wasn't right for you. Um, okay. And then, wow. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So, um, so this is, a, I really feel that you're in, you're in a place of um, making something happen. So the page is, you know, an exciting start of um, putting plans into action, um, but being practical, realistic, you know, knowing that your dreams can be met, but in order to meet your dreams, you've had to walk away from a situation that didn't suit you, negativity, whether it's rules, hierarchy, and we'll get into that in a minute, but quite often rules and hierarchy around us are, you know, perhaps we have, perhaps you've walked away from a, a, a boss who is, you know, like limiting you, I would call a glass ceiling above your head, or um, you know, maybe a family situation even where you know people just didn't get what it was that you're doing it's not necessarily that you've walked away but you've maybe um found people who are a little bit more aligned with um what you're doing in order to share conversations with and share plans with wow okay and nine of wands all right so you're you've really understood that there's something else out there for you that you, you're able to push beyond the limitations of what has been there before. Um, and you've got to the place where you're actually making this happen, which is, which is a fabulous. It's like you're rewriting your own rules. You're, you're, you're stepping out of the hierarchies that have been holding you back. Um, you've found a new support structure, um, walking away from negativity which is one of the most important things you know you've, you've chosen to make that change you've chosen to go beyond the hierarchy these cards are all saying the same thing as this new earth it is happening it's holding it but keep holding the vision um so already i'm getting the sense of the universal energy and toba's advice here which is this is really exciting but it can be quite daunting as well you know when we step beyond what we know and we step beyond what other people expect of us and what other people want us to be in order to make them not feel um, uncomfortable about their own lives or, or to control us so that we deliver for them um, we end up again you know being pulled back by a lot or surrounded by a lot of negativity and, and it takes guts to hold your own it takes guts to move beyond um, other people's expectations um, but you're doing it pile number two which is fabulous I'm so excited okay the oracle cards here are saying loon intuitive listen to the song in your soul trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. Look at you, you are doing this. You're seeking more solitude. You are, you are stepping beyond the boundaries of um, what other people expect of you, but what what you believe was probably yours. You know, you, I suspect you, you know, I suspect you delivered well for other people within the rules and hierarchies that you worked in and, and, and you were good at it and you enjoyed it and then it wasn't satisfying you and you've taken a leap of faith. Your intuition was calling you to do something different, to say, no, this isn't this isn't it all, this isn't everything that it is for me. 
there's more that there, there's something else there's something else i need to do that that and it's not what it was look in a book whenever you question right now you'll find the answer in a book the words you find will bring the insight you seek okay so this speaks to 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 plans to to um to finding affirmation for what's happening um maybe even writing a book maybe maybe you're writing the rule book maybe you're writing a new rule book or maybe you're maybe you're looking at the rule book to say can i do this a different way just because somebody says i have to do it this way is that actually right that feels like what it is i think you may be you're maybe pushing the rules maybe even you're rewriting the rules um and you're, you're certainly saying, I'm sorry, I don't have to do it this way. I, do, I don't have to do it this way just because you say that. I don't have to do it this way. Look, look, the rules even say that I, I can do it a different way. But you know what? I don't have to prove anything to you because you're just negative. I'm going to carry on doing this because I've already researched it. My intuition told me that I was right and I have checked it out and I know, I know that I'm right. And I'm going to walk away from your view of um, what can be and I'm going to partner with people who get it who get me who 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 share my vision and we're we're going to do some amazing things okay self-interest you've had a lot of self-interested people around you which is why you're walking away I'm just going to get another card of this you've had to deal with people who that's why you're walking away why you're walking away you had a vision um you had a dream and you knew it was right and people have tried to talk you out of it because it suits themselves and what you're having you're you're being encouraged to do i'm checking in with toba here and i'll get some specific guidance from in a minute once we've got all these cards out and um, i am getting his information as well by the way um but what's going on here is that they're encouraging you to put your self-interest at first now because you've done that for everybody else for far too long. I'm just going to get another card and get a clarifier on here. There we go. Battles. Yeah, you've had some battles. And you might still have some more battles. You might have some more battles because when you're trying to do this, the, the people who have fed off your energy for a long period of time will try to pull you back or you'll get another energetic experience that is similar because you have an energy pattern you will have had an energy pattern that has a has attracted you to work for people who have been happy to take from you um and you've been happy to give because that's in your nature um and and you will have learned those lessons you've moved on you've, you've taken a step to move away from it but that there's quite often there's quite often a a re-emergence of that same energy pattern at some point in the future almost like as a it's almost like as a, a, an extra strength thing to say never again. Um, so I think this is a little bit of warning to say you must put your self-interest at first. Um, you're not a person who naturally does battle. Um, the battle, I think, is people will be, um, the naysayers will be holding you back because this is beautiful. This is transition energy. This is this is moving beyond everything. And you're saying, no, I can change the rules. And one or two people saying, no, you can't, but only because it serves them, not because it serves you. And maybe in the hierarchy that you've been working in, because you stood out and been different, um, you may be even experiencing like a, a family battle. You know, you're, you're sort of outgrowing, um, dare I say it, you're outgrowing your parents or your relations' expectations of what a good citizen should be. And you're saying, no, I, I'm, 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 I am a good citizen. Um, but I'm also able to do more. I'm able to deliver more, um, and and that can cause friction. Um, but where you want your energy is in developing your future, not in this friction. And so the advice here is very much coming through as, as um, you know, this, your what you deal with a lot of self-interested people, and you have to put your self-interest first, even though it's not in your nature to do that. Um, it's not something you've done. You know, you've always been a very giving person. You've always, you've probably always been on the wrong side of giving. And you, you, you've got something really important to deliver here. You've got something exciting. Um, you could, you've got a vision that other people can't see, but one or two people can see it and they're going to be working with you and you, you join forces with people. Um, people get your plans and get the change that's needed. Um, and when you align with these people, these battles will be a, a lot easier to deal with. Um these cards have a little bit of okay. um, 
how do I say that? Sorry, they're beautiful cards, but YouTube has some rules around. I'm just gonna put a put a um, crystal on top so that we don't display this lady's modesty. Okay, number fifteen, the temptress. You've got some difficult people around you. Let 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 me. Um, yeah, let me read this book and then I'll tune in specifically to Toba. Um, but this is definitely saying you're progressing, but you are you 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 you're gonna have to justify to somebody, or you're having to justify to somebody what you're doing. And and I'm I'm getting from Toba is saying you don't have to justify anything to anybody, um, but you have to deal with this person or deal with these people. So let me just um, read what's going on in here, because the depth of these um, cards is incredible and, and it's really worth diving into the book to check. OK, the temptress, seduction, deceit, a broken promise. You are being seduced with dazzling promises that will mostly not eventuate. In effect, you're being deceived, enticed into accepting something that will cause you much difficulty and eventually lead only to disappointment. Don't be seduced by the glitz and glamour or by the holy and benevolent facade. facade. Things are not what they seem. Incredible promises are simply that incredible. Observe the image on this card. The temptress entices you with her sensuous beauty and exotic surrounding. Yet just behind it is the all-seeing eye of truth. Okay. Where's it gone? It is, start, it is staring you in the face all along. Take a few steps back, look at things from an objective and balanced perspective and the real picture and hidden agenda will emerge. And the affirmation here, if you want to pause and read it, I listen to and trust my intuition. <laughs> look at this, intuitive. From a grounded and balanced point of view, <coughs> every positive has a negative and vice versa. I look beyond the superficial and find the truth. I look for substance. I'm not swayed by wild promises. Okay, part number two, this is really clear. Um, you're fed up with rules, hierarchy, broken promises. Um, you know that there's a better way to do things. Your intuition is telling you that. Other people are actually joining forces with you to tell you that, but they are looking to you for leadership. Um, so it's great that you're partnering with people, but um, you are the one that needs to be the strong person in that partnership. Um, even though it's exciting and people get it, um, you still have some battles to do with people and, and, and other people will help you with that because you'll feel supported. Um, but you're going to have to, the rules and hierarchies around what you're doing need to be dealt with. You, you, you may need to actually pull out a book to say, no, I can do it this way. It'll feel exhausting um, and you're going to be seduced by promises of, um, greater abundance or or more nurturing or, or something like that and the, the advice here is don't don't believe it don't trust it unless your intuition tells you differently you you must trust your intuition and completely hold on to that all the way through this and put your own self-interest first okay Toba what would you like to add he's saying that pile number two you have a energy of um, the ability to change he said um, a lot of people um, feel comfortable with the status quo, feel comfortable even though they don't like the rules and hierarchy and they will argue um, or they will um, not argue. He's saying they will voice their dislike of rules and hierarchy. He said the proportion of people who are actually prepared to change the rules or certainly change the way things are done within the rules, but to a better version. Um, or inter interpret the rules to get more um, comfort and productivity for other people. Um, he's saying that, you know, not many people have the bravery to do that. And he said, pile number two, you, you have got that. He said, but you also have a history of working for people who have um, quite narcissistic tendencies and have not manipulated you he said you're not a person that can be manipulated he said but you do like to please people and you do take at face value when somebody gives you praise and he said that's something that's so important to you that you you will often put your own self-interest below other people's 
because the praise and, and the thanks is meaningful to you, he said, but um, he said it isn't always sent your way with well-meaning. It's, it can be sent your way from a self-interested point of view of other people. And he said, you're so tolerant and you're so kind and gentle and um, wanting to do the right thing that he said, it, it is, it, he's saying it's not, a weakness isn't, isn't the right way to put it, he said, but you could be seduced back into a situation that just doesn't work for you and it hasn't worked for you. And it's why you have had to move beyond your current situation. Um, and he said there will be a latent pulling on your energy of people trying to persuade you otherwise. And he said, it's just because you're making them feel uncomfortable and you're showing them up for not doing the right thing for other people. You're showing them up for doing the right thing for themselves only. Whereas you want to do the right thing for lots of people. And that in turn will also be bringing you more for yourself as well, both in terms of um, material and emotional nourishment. And he, the really strong message he said is, is actually a warning message in these cards and in this situation, which is you're doing the right thing for yourself and hold true. And he said, but you, you, you must put your own self-interest first. He said, because you are, you're actually helping other people by pushing the rules to where they should be, as opposed to where people have used them for themselves. Okay, part number two, I hope that really makes sense. Um, I'm going to pull a advice from spirit card here. Get one that's really obvious. I thought there's maybe two was coming out. Sometimes two or three come out. Yep, two are definitely wanting to come out. Okay, sometimes these are affirmations, sometimes these are advice, so we'll see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay, fantastic. All right, authenticity and inner critic. Okay, these are really relevant. So you are a very authentic person and you're dealing with people who are inauthentic. And so this is an affirmation and advice to maintain that authenticity throughout everything that you're doing and self-interest. And he said, okay, I didn't pick up on that but before, but the other thing that's coming through here is that what holds you back and why you default back to um, uh, seduce isn't the right word, although there's a temptress, temptress, temptress here, why you, why you have in the past given so much of yourself to other people who haven't appreciated you is because you, you haven't really recognised yourself, how good you are. And so that inner critic of yours is quite a, is quite a strong voice and it leads you to um at least to get you giving of yourself to other people who take from you in a way that is unfair because they're not authentic and you are so they so they feed off that and this is energy vampire type energy going on here um and so this is saying you know your your authenticity lies on a new path that's what we could really do is just going getting rid of all of that and this is you this is you your journey and we need to remove this in fact i'm going to do that energetically in a minute i'm just going to get one more card for you uh, these are soul sea soul sea soul spirit cards and um, so we've got universal energy and mother earth gaia energy here and we're just going to finish with the sea soul our, our important elements oh there's two okay space and fluid may you shift and transform may your heart and scope expand okay fabulous this is really saying you're going through this incredible shift it is happening keep holding the vision be flexible as you go through this because it is a shifting dynamic you are feeling your way with something um as well as going through your own transformation which is amazing and this is saying hold space for your heart hold space for your thoughts for your thought patterns and and as you clear space make sure you don't fill it with um, or people will see that space energy vampires will feel that space and try and come in and and take you try to take you back into that energy of giving um, and so this is a really clear message to say um, break your own rule of or your own, own energetic rule of wanting to do the right thing for everybody um, and do the right thing for the people who are 
authentic to you and and you feel also intuitively feel have the authenticity to help you i'm just going to do something that is a bit of energetic cleansing i'm going to take these people away out of your reading there we go oh, i mean I, I don't know about you but that just feels feels cleaner to me um, and we're going to put this i'm going to put this crystal on them and just cleanse them all. I feel a bit of relief just seeing them out of the way here. I don't know what I'm actually going to remove them all together. I don't like those people. I don't like that energy in this reading. But, and I feel that's what you've been dealing with. So we've moved it now. Don't let it back into that space. We've cleared a space for you. And now that space is here for you to fill with your own ideas and your own fluidity. Um, and um, work on this. Do some self-worth work. Um, set your... Try setting your phone for um, your phone countdown timer for five minutes every day and just saying, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough, I am worthy. Um, and just keep repeating those words and reprogram that inner critic so that it's it's here to support you and deliver for you as opposed to um, put fears into your head um, because you're on the right track and you're doing something amazing. OK, pile number two, I hope that really helps. If um, you like what we're doing and you enjoyed that, please do give Toba a thumbs up. Um, I have just this most incredible privilege. Um, we're, we're a new channel. Um, I've been communicating for, for nearly a year now. Um, but to set up this channel and bring you these messages is just such a privilege. It's a real honour and um, I'm very grateful for your time watching this. Thank you very much. Take care. I hope it helps you. Bye. Hi, pile number three, welcome to your reading. You chose the card of double mission. Lightworker Starseed, serve the world by being you. Fabulous, glorious card. Okay, so we are asking, <clears throat> excuse me, Toba and the universe, um, what is going on around you in terms of rules and hierarchy that may or may not be impacting you and how you might be able to work with that? Okay, we're going to start with your oracle cards. Sorry, no, we're not. We're going to start with your tarot cards. Okay, so we have got the five of fire, which is the five of wands in a traditional deck. And um, this would really be about supporting other people and supporting yours, um, or other people supporting you. But in, in this particular card, there's also a an element of conflict going on here which um this is really sort of saying to me shine a light for yourself um serving the world by serving yourself uh a lot of the world is very conflicted and and um this is for me this is saying you're leading the way you know you're shining a light that other other people can see um and sometimes we have to Shine, look in the mirror and just see how much of a light we are able to shine as well. Okay, then we have the, wow, lovely, the Ten of Earth, um, which is the Ten of Pentacles in the traditional deck, um, which is fabulous. So this is, this is saying that um, your, your energy re is really about... Um, you want to share your gifts with other people. It's really important for you to be able to do that. And you also understand how difficult it is because there's so much negativity that's around. Um, and, and in a way, I feel like in this card, it's almost like saying you, you, you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna shine the light anyway. You, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna block out the people who are naysayers um, and lead the way for everyone else um, by, shine, by, shining, by shining the light letting it reflect back um, and blocking out, using the mirrors almost to block out all of the negative people because you have so much, so you have such an important message here. Um, and we're talking about rules and hierarchy and, and people who light the way and lead the way and want to share, share their wealth with other people, share their abundance with other people, are, are kind of, there's less of them than there are of people who just want to take abundance and, and store it up for themselves and not share. Um, and for me, I feel in this reading already, it's, particularly, you know, with this light work of starseed, it really is inherently innate in you to help other people um, and standing up for yourself and but standing up for other people in the face of, of um, energy that is of self-interest. Self-interest is really important. 
it's really important that you maintain some of that for yourself in order to be strong enough to help other people but there's a real um, there's a real energy in here wanting to help others which is fabulous and finding peace and contentment in being able to do that the ten of wands okay two tens fabulous okay so this is really um i think you're at a stage where you understand how to work with others um how to how to help help others put down their burdens um And it's really important to you to get this message out here. You, 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 you figured something out. You figured out. You figured out that life's better when you work as a community, that you work as a group of people that collaborate and help each other. Um, you know that so much of the energy of this world is you know me, 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 and you have really, really nailed it in terms of understanding that giving is receiving, working together and collaborating helps you feel connected but it also relieves people of the burdens but not everybody gets it and, and you're lighting the way for people okay and the seven of wands wow a lot of wands energy going on here okay so the seven of wands um i think what we're saying here is we we need to give you some we need to give you some self-confidence and some affirmations here that you know you're doing the right thing you really do get it. You really do get it. And sometimes that feels um, a little bit lonely. It feels like you, because you're giving so much of yourself and you get it and you see it and you're really doing the inner work. But there's also, um, I, I think we, we need to give you a metaphorical hug here to say you're doing amazing stuff and, and recognise you for what you're doing. Um, because our rules and hierarchy and structures that we live in, um, first of all, don't praise us enough. Um, and secondly, there isn't enough. Um, everybody says it was nice to collaborate, but very few people actually do it. And, and that's what you're doing. You know, you're collaborating and bringing in abundance for other people and for yourself um, and doing it really from the from the from the real heart of you. From You know, you get it, you understand it. And you're also putting in the energy to light the way, which you, d you don't necessarily have to do, but you are. Okay, uh, uh, the oracle cards then. Goose and inner knowing. Uh, this is an this is inner knowing as well here. Um, so you are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Okay, lovely. Okay, and then fairy energy music. Listen carefully, for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door. Okay, I feel like you're maybe feeling a little bit lonely at the moment. You feel like you're um, you're doing great things for your community, but there's a little bit of you that needs to be topped up. Or you're feeling a bit disconnected from the world because there's so much negative energy around you and you're helping people and there's a community going on, but there's I'm getting a feeling that... Um, you know, you're pushing the boundaries for other people, but you're, I think you need um, you need some love and hugs, I feel. Insight. Okay. And then thinking of you. Oh, yes, there we go. A loving thought, so endipity. I'm going to read this card and then I'm going to, I'm going to read the book and this card. And I, actually, I'm just pull another card. I can't often do that. Sometimes these crows like to, well, they fly in pairs, don't they? Maybe that's what I need to get two cards. I should be mindful of that in the future. That's three, that's too many. Which other cards would you like to bring out to them? Is that one or that? No, that's two, it's that one. Tricky. Okay. It says here double mission, trickery and insight. And this always reminds me of dancing to your own tune with music. So this isn't this is this is not dissimilar from Pal Two. It's, it's different, but it but there's a, there's a theme going on in here in these cards, which is about um, feeling a bit undermined 
and there was something a little much more specific about that in, in part two but you might if you were drawn to part two there might be any further messages in there for you um this this energy isn't as strong um in, in this part of this this particular corner of the reading um i don't want to give the game away because you, if you want to if you're drawn to it um then that's great and if you're not then it, it, this is a reading obviously in its own right um, but for me I always think with the music this is there's there's two things that I, I always find in these cards one is um you know you're strong enough to dance to your own tune and and, and with the green energy here it's really you know it's from the heart you you, you dance to your own tune from from your heart sensed energy and your heart sensed energy is, is really about helping other people um there's a second thing in here which is in order to dance to your own tune sometimes it's really really helpful um practically helpful to put music on that really resonates with you um you know it's 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 a mood game game changer and i am getting this feeling that you are in need of a little bit of a, a, a metaphorical hug a bit of support um because you're doing such incredible work um and you have a community you've created a community but there's, there's something going on in here you've got insight into You've got, I don't, yes, I don't think the behaviour, there's some difficult behaviour that you're seeing. I don't think it's necessarily directed at you particularly, but you can see it where other people can't. And you're having to block it and shining a light up to lead the way for other people. And you're doing that and you're doing that really successfully. And, and the people in the community here are kind of oblivious of what's going on because you're doing such a good job. You've got an insight of something that's going on or you're doing such a good job of... Um, keeping it at bay so here's your double mission you're kind of like you're, you're helping people and leading them but you're also keeping them safe that's your double mission um because you know you have this inner knowing and you can see that here with the solar plexus you just know you intuitively know where people are, are disruptive um and the people that you're helping don't even don't even they haven't even got a clue about what you're doing because you're so strong and you're such an amazing leader um and the universe is here and Tober is here to acknowledge that, you know, you're dealing with hierarchies, you're creating, you're creating a community, whereas and a community has, um, should have, to have a free community, it should have as few rules as possible because everybody works collaboratively and kind of intuitively. And it definitely doesn't have much hierarchy um, because hierarchy brings, um, there's a difference between leadership and control and hierarchy brings too much control. And you're, and you're fending this. This is your double mission. You're kind of like creating a safe space, but also keeping and protecting the unsafe elements that are, in, and are kind of almost need, you know, you kind of have to work within them and then they, they're there, they need to be there because rules and hierarchies do keep communities safe but not when there's self-interest of other people involved and that's you can see this and you get it and you know it um, and you dance to your own tune okay let me read this card a loving thought serendipity so it's card number 29 okay thinking of you this card is confirmation that somebody you have been thinking of is also thinking of you it may be someone who has passed away or a living friend, family member or loved one. Our thoughts and feelings are energy frequencies or wavelengths that transcend space and time. We all transmit and receive information through our thoughts and feelings. It makes no difference whether someone is near or far, alive or has passed away. We are subconsciously in constant communication with those we think about and love. Having heard this, you probably imagine your thoughts travelling through space and time. However, in actuality, nothing really travels anywhere. This is because energetically or spiritually, there is no separation in the first place. We are all interconnected and ultimately one eternally held, ultimately one eternally held within an ocean of divine love. The great cosmic ocean of life is a vast, as, as vast and endless as we can imagine it to be. And at the same time, it can be smaller than the smallest particle. Beautiful, there's an affirmation here. All I love lives forever in my heart. I am one with all humanity. I am one with all creation. I am in constant communion with everyone. Time and space are real only when I believe they are. Yeah, that, and this is a beautiful reading, pile number three. And I, 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 that just confirms what the energy is here. And I'll just go into Tober in a sec, which is um, 
you know, any, anyone who enters into this kind of mission of helping other people um, and protecting them from from other people is it's hard work it takes a lot of effort and takes a lot of energy um but there's almost a, and sometimes it's kind of you think is it worth the effort because it's just it's hard work um but when you have insight and inner knowing and um you know you're able to dance to your own tune you're able to help people it's almost like you're compelled to do it that it's kind of like you don't really have an option even though sometimes it can be very lonely and hard work and um this is a message to say that it, you are seen, you are heard, you are felt. Um, you know, whether it's somebody in physical presence or somebody that you know who's who's in spiritual presence in your life, um, this card, this this is really, I think this is really encouraging you to feel them, to feel the love that you have, to open your heart, to feel the the sun, the love coming into you. Um, let me just see specifically what Tova wants to say. Okay. Toby's saying he, 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 you are you are one of the chosen light workers, starseed, whatever resonates with you. He said you have a very um, a very strong mission to help people, and he said you've known that. He said you've known that for a long time, possibly even possibly even you've always known that. Um, he said you're a very strong, a very brave person. He he's saying that. Um, humanity humanity needs the guidance that you give um but he's saying he recognizes and, and the universe is saying they do recognize they do understand how hard it is um and they do want to thank you for protecting the people that you're protecting um they're actually asking you just to keep so this trickery card is saying just to keep a sharp eye out for a situation He's saying there's something that you know about. He said you have in a knowing. He said you have some insight. He said there's something very specific. It's obviously a general reading. It may or may not resonate for you. But he said for the people it does resonate, you know. He's saying you absolutely know. You know that there's something going on that isn't in the best interest of this community that you created. Um, and he's saying that um, he's basically giving you affirmations so that you know that you're all right. And you know that doing the right thing is also to shine a light and he's saying actually hold a mirror up to the people or the person who is um, trying to disrupt this community. He said there's maybe somebody who's actually in the community who doesn't by play by the rules, um, who could be, has turned up with self-interest or has turned up with a, with, a, with a mission to take rather than be and be part of and he said you know who it is and he said you know you know that you know to need to deal with them and he's saying that um he said you'll do it in your usual incredible way um and he's they're just giving you some affirmation that they agree with what you're seeing okay that may or may not apply for some of you but it's very specific so i needed to share that um, and and the, really the rest of the message is saying is yes you are you are doing an incredible job you are supported he said do feel in feel into the universe um, he's telling me that you know your guy you know one of your spirit guides um, and he said that they're going to be working with you very closely particularly closely he said they're always working with you closely he said but feel into them um, feel into the energy of this insight and inner knowing. He said, "You have it anyway, but you you are being guarded, guided, guarded, guide, guided, because there is something that you need to guard against." And the end, the colours here are really are really similar, and it's almost like there's a build up of colour. Um, so this is this is sacral, not sacral. This is in solar plexus. Um, solar plexus chakra for me always um indicates self worth. So he's saying, um. You know, sometimes when you have a dent in your self-worth, you kind of question yourself. He said, but don't question. Don't question your inner knowing. Um, you're bang on. You're on the money um, uh, or on the, on the ball in terms of who it is, what it is, what's going on. And there's almost like a build up of strength um, between your inner knowing, the insight and um, knowing that you're being helped and guided through this particular situation. He said, really like home into your instinct. Like, really really strongly um, somebody's trying to break the rules of your lovely group or bend the rules to suit themselves Ooh. open yourself to possibility 
So this was an, a, a, a guidance from spirit. Um, okay, so I think this is back to this needing to give you a bit of a self hug that, um, you know, it can be a lonely journey leading other people and, and helping relieve them of their burdens and, and sharing your sharing your emotional as well as um, as well as material abundance. Um, and I think, yeah, to Toby's saying Toby's saying that there's and Toby's indicating that there might be a growth coming in your in your community or in your in your ideas. Um, he said you're gaining, you're gaining momentum. You're gaining. There's a, there's an energy that's happening behind what you're doing, that is um, almost like going to take a step change in in the, the value, the nourishment that you're giving to people. Um, and he said he's he's saying he's saying that part of part of the strength that you're going to get from dealing with this situation is going to help you actually see what could happen what what the potential is there's, there's a greater potential of what you're doing um and there's a, the lesson of dealing with this particular situation will help you feel more confident and strong um and open yourself to the possibility of doing even more or being even more or, or, or shining your light even higher um, the, the, this is also the card of the sun, which is, you know, sh shining when you're happy, actually. Um, you're being a real light for other people um, and maybe you're you're feeling your way into that. You're feeling your way into just how much you can do for people. Um, you know, you've been holding a light up and guiding, but this is saying you could be a real guiding light. But it, there's a there's a there's like a, a situation that's going to help you feel strong enough to do that which sounds like challenging, but you've got the strength to do it. Um, just look after yourself as a community as well. And release. May you lay down your burdens. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Right by the card of helping other people lay down their burdens. Okay. So this is really saying that, um, you know, you carry a lot for other people and the universe wants to help carry some of your burdens for you um, by releasing you, by... But I guess helping you feel strong enough to change a situation that really opens you up and releases you from feeling bound and constrained by um, certain rules and hierarchies that you've maybe felt held back by, but you're actually helping other people to overcome. Okay, amazing, number three. This is a, a really fascinating reading. and You're doing something astonishing for people. Um, and uh, and that's a very beautiful thing and i hope it goes really really well for you and i hope this situation whatever it is um, isn't too challenging and, it, and and you definitely have the strength to deal with it um and hopefully this card gives you the strength to deal with it really easily as well okay thank you so much if you like what we're doing do please consider giving toba a thumbs up <laughs> um this is uh, we're a reasonably new channel and um i've been communicating with animals for about a year and um, I'm so privileged to be able to do this and it's such a blessing to be able to bring you these readings um, and uh, yeah hopefully we'll see you again sometime and, and hopefully this helps you okay bye number three bye